Hi there, everybody, and welcome to today's Art of Procurement podcast. I'm Philip Heidson, the founder and managing director of Art of Procurement. And as we all know, it's a really exciting time to be in procurement, especially with the pace of technological change. And so today's podcast is part of a special sponsored series that's taking part over the last two weeks of January 2020, where we aim to shine a light on the emerging and growth companies who are changing the way that leading procurement teams are driving outcomes that truly align with corporate objectives. And so we're going to ask an entrepreneur from eight different companies questions about what gap in the market their solution addresses, how they differentiate their technology, and what the tools look like in action. It's a great way for you to get to know those who are truly leading the way when it comes to the digitization of procurement. Well, in today's podcast, I talked to Sam Jenks of Kodiak Rating. And so I first asked Sam to share Kodiak Rating's elevator pitch. Kodiak Rating is a cloud-based Uh, supplier relationship and supplier performance management platform. Uh, We're looking to aid global procurement and sourcing teams to know their suppliers with deep in supplier insights. Uh, In this sense, uh, we know that we can be able to ensure that uh, there's going to be able to create good supplier relationships and and manage performance from one scalable platform, uh, really driving uh, strategic sourcing excellence and ultimately impact. Uh, mm-hmm. If we look at like some of the trends in the markets, uh, 2019 CPO survey from Deloitte reported that 71% of procurement leaders are currently unhappy with their existing uh, solutions for supplier management. Um, I hope they're not talking about us uh, <laughs> when they say so. <laughs> I, I know they're not talking about they us. They haven't found you uh, yet. But, uh, they haven't found us yet, exactly. The bottom line, though, is that supplier data is unreliable, contract management is messy, you know, documentation is getting lost, risk management is being overcomplicated, analytics are lacking. And these are the conversations that we're having with, with companies when we meet them. So really, we're trying to create a, a, a one platform that's simply able to build that value that procurement and sourcing professionals need to be able to manage their supplier base. Um, as as uh, we've spoken to some some individuals from Spend Matters before, mm. uh, we've we've heard back as feedback that we have a nimble approach to supplier management. So, what kind of um, insights? So, if if someone's using your platform, what kind of insights are you providing or sharing with them? Uh, could you elaborate a little bit as far as yeah. like, what you mean by insight? So, you, you mentioned the fact that you know what, one of the things that you do is um, you know you're really giving um, uh, procurement professionals access to, you know, much better data and insights on their suppliers. And I just wonder if you could share a little yeah. bit about what kind of insights those are. You know, what somebody who is using Kodiak rating, what are they going to have access Absolutely. to that perhaps they didn't have access to before? So we help teams to be able to build insights both based on individual suppliers in the form of more robust scorecards, mm-hmm. and then also big data analytics in the form of kind of being able to categorize your, your, your data that you're gathering and your insights you're digging into and or the entire supplier base. We help to build uh, insights in the form of ratings, hence the name Kodiak Rating. Yep. Uh, we believe in the rating ideology because we believe that if you're able to visualize the data points for a procurement professional, you're going to make their life a lot easier when they're trying to make a decision about where a new sourcing project or negotiating within a new contract. So we help to build ratings within per- particular parameters tied to our, our customer specific needs and business critical uh, kind of KPIs. Right. Um, but at the same time, there are elements that are, uh, how would I say, um, more macro ratings and or macro insights tied to financial risks, mm-hmm. tied to uh, contextual risks, geopolitical uh, or, or, or social or environmental risks, but also to help them to be able to da- build insights of data that today is getting lost in Excel sheets, not being utilized, you know, uh, running, running a self-assessment, for example, or an audit things that are happening and, and, and getting lost in the confines of either an Excel sheet or even paper and pen. Uh, and, and then really that data is becoming rather stagnant. So we're utilizing each one of those touch points that exist within the supplier management life cycle to be able to gather data in a very defined way, helping them to also then get back that data and create more robust ratings. Mm-hmm. So that's kind of what we need when we talk about supplier insights. Okay, so it's kind of providing a 360 view of essentially supplier performance, supplier potential even, you know, you're bringing in, um, um, you know, 
performance ratings or metrics that are important based on what the client needs. It's not a, a one size fits all. He, here's just a rating for um, for everybody that we use for every company. They can customize all the inputs that go into that based on what's important to them. Exactly. We're helping our customers to be able to meet their own individual KPIs. We, of course, standard, are standard within the way that we help to gather back data within various parameters that we see as kind of standard, you know, industry or kind of, uh, what's the word, function-wide yeah. uh, KPIs that people are looking at. Within performance, you know, it, it doesn't really vary in very many organizations, but we look at six different KPIs, quality, supply chain, price collaboration, innovation, and sustainability. Those are typically the parameters in which our customers want to be able to uh, gauge performance of a supplier, for example. But underneath, you know, each one of those areas to be able to set acceptance criteria or see, you know, what, what the actual, uh, set, setting the actual goal setting of what, what they want the suppliers to be able to achieve, that's totally individual to the customer. Okay, so, so what was the inspiration behind um, starting Kodiak Racing? Uh, so, so the, the, the company was started back in 2015. We're, we're headed in Stockholm, Sweden, mm-hmm. uh, a Swedish company from, from the start by Malin Schmidt. Uh, she had long uh, standing career in, in a global certification body that uh, some of your listeners are probably familiar with, named DNB, GL, the uh, And after a long kind of standing, uh, uh, standing uh, career in that organization, she thought to herself that she had seen enough of bad business solutions, really. She had worked alongside quality management professionals on audits, sourcing professionals on new projects, procurement professionals, sustainability professionals, and she realized that they just didn't have business solutions at hand to build true intelligence. Mm-hmm. So we really started in the same way that just about any other software as a service uh, company has started. We're not unique in that sense whatsoever. We started with a question and a hypothesis. The yeah. question was, why does a manager or an executive within a strategic function, whether it be you know procurement, sourcing, quality management professional, or supply chain management professional, why do they have better insights and analytics when they go for a run in the morning in their mobile phone than when they step into the office? Yeah. The hypothesis was if we put better business solutions in the hands of those professionals, then, then really they're going to be able to manage those relationships on a day-to-day basis, gather more insights, and ultimately become more excellent within their role. Mm-hmm. So as you position Kodiak rating to the market, you know, what are the, some of the differentiators that you focus on from, from your product? You know, what, what kind of stands out for Kodiak rating versus a competition? Um, if, if we talk about the low-hanging fruit, uh, UX and UI, yeah. uh, our interface and, and our user experience are really playful, but they're also sleek and, uh, and engaging for our customers. And we hear that a lot. Um, I would say if you're looking at our value proposition, uh, driving supplier compliance is, is something that we're focused on. But in, in kind of um, in comparison to other organizations that are also looking at uh, helping to drive compliance and helping to, to manage risk, we're also looking at supplier performance. Uh, so really our, our kind of focus is, uh, is impact and value enhancement, mm-hmm. uh, which some of our competitors that that kind of focusing on the same things aren't really uh, aren't really focused on in the same way. So when you talk about compliance, it's the um, compliance to contractual requirements, insurance certification, um, uh, elements like that, or is it compliance in terms of the organization complying with the contract that you have in place with the providers with your suppliers? Both. So, okay. so both kind of like the, the checking off compliance of management, but also contract compliance mm-hmm. as well. So what would you say is the biggest surprise that you have faced, you know, as you have um, started to grow the business and, and interacting with procurement, you know, trying to really um, help organizations look at, should we work with a startup? You know, what's the risk for us of working with a startup? What are some of the things that you've found? I think that, you know, it doesn't matter who you talk to uh, today. Th- one of the things that shocked me the most is that Excel is still so apparent, mm-hmm. uh, in, in, and it's still uh, Excel is still alive in every single procurement organization. And ultimately, when it comes to a lot of best of breed solutions on on the market today, as Kodiak Grading is in the space of supplier management, 
Excel is our biggest competitor. Yeah. It doesn't matter how digitally mature or how large the organization is. Typically, uh, issues tied to supplier management are being hel- uh, are being uh, aided through homegrown solutions and or Excel. Um, there's a statistic that I that I that I typically revert back to that I saw in a Bain & Company uh, uh, article that was published by procurement leaders. For workflow assignment and supplier relationship management, more than 60% of procurement leaders have no tools or rely primarily on improvised systems mm-hmm. with Microsoft Office. And for risk management, stakeholder management, category management, and information sharing, that, that number rises to almost 70%. Uh, so really, the, 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 the thing that shocked me the most is how, how little people are moving into the cloud. Yeah. So, so what what do you say to folks then when that's their objection? You know, we get we do everything that we need in Excel um, because it's more of a mindset shift, it seems, as opposed to a, um, oh, I'm going to decide versus one product or another. It's I'm happy with the status quo and you've got to overcome that objection, right. <laughs> essentially, to business as usual. Procurement professionals are really smart. <laughs> Let's just start with that, okay? They they also, in that sense, understand what it means to buy in a cloud-based solution. I don't want to talk about, you know, the market like they're dinosaurs. Right. The, the bottom line, though, is, is that there's a, the more the bigger mind shift uh, is, is not just away from Excel. It's towards working with startups. Yeah. We're talking about yeah. professional risk managers. I mean, these people are are... are have, have the management of risk running through their veins. Mm-hmm. And within that, working with a startup or a growth venture is a risky move. But I think that the real shift is coming now. And this we heard, shout out to Matthias Guzman, who also is one of the reasons why we, we hooked up together yeah. uh, a, 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 through the digital procurement world um, uh, community. But at that event uh, in 2019 uh, in Amsterdam, we were able to meet with, you know, a lot of practitioners from some of the largest uh, organizations in the world. You saw also, you know, Accenture, McKinsey mm-hmm. and Company, their CTOs getting up on stage. And 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 no matter who you met with at that at that event, the the message was resounding. There was a thread through every conversation that become an early adopter, work yeah. with small actors. Why? Well, because you can put your problems in front of a startup in a way that you can't put in front of, uh, uh, excuse me, an SAP Ariba of the world. Mm-hmm. And not to knock SAP Ariba, but but they they are in a different place than a lot of startups are. Uh, we're looking to help uh, innovate together with our customers in a different way uh, in, in a position as a growth venture. Yeah, one of the things actually we're looking to do to tie up this startup series is share a few tips on um, how to get started, because you can do it in a way that's not uh, that takes away the risk, that minimizes the risk. You know, it doesn't have to be startup equals risk or um, emerging exactly. company equals risk and big company <clears throat> doesn't equal risk. It's just the way you go about creating the environment and minimizing your risk um, as you go through that process. Absolutely, absolutely. I, I want to wrap up um, today, Sam. First of all, thank you for joining me. The last question, and it's really just, I think, the easiest question. I always say this in my podcasts. Um, if anybody is interested in learning a little bit more about uh, Kodiak rating and just connecting with you directly, where would be the best places for them to find you? Yeah. So anybody looking to get in contact with me or any of the team members at Kodiak Rating uh, to learn more about our software, about our philosophy and or our company in general, uh, you could check out our website, www.kodiakrating.com. Um, and if you're interested in learning more about the software, we'd be happy to get you on a quick web demonstration uh, and you could request the demo there via our website as well. Otherwise, anyone can feel free to get in contact with me directly. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, first name dot last name at kodiakrating.com. That's my email. So I'm happy to take any inquiries via, via that channel as well. And I thank you a lot for taking the time to, to have me on today, uh, Philip. And, and I, I really am, uh, it's, it's big what you're doing within our procurement for, for the industry as well as for for us as a startup to be able to give us a platform today. Well, thank you, Sam. No, I mean, we're really passionate about um, just one about 
change, you know, and, and helping um, change, but helping procurement leaders change with confidence. You know, it's taking that risk away. There's so many exciting platforms within the procurement space, all doing very different things that, um, you know, a lot of folks just don't have the exposure to. So we're definitely passionate about um, bringing uh, those two procurement leaders around the world, you know, to kind of help further the conversation. So um, I really appreciate your time today, Sam. What I will do is uh, we're going to have uh, some a show notes page for today's episode that um, if listeners will just go to artofprocurement.com slash podcast, they can type in Kodiak rating or startup series. Um, they will find the show notes for today's episodes and I'll include ways that uh, any listener can connect with you, engage with you and the link to your website on there. So Sam, uh, one last time, just thanks for, so much for your time today. Thanks for tuning in to this special startup series on the Art of Procurement. To listen to the entire series and for the show notes pages that accompany each episode, please go to artofprocurement.com slash startup series.